Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be reviewing or just noise testing the Racer Star 42 amp ESC. Now this is a Beale Heli 32 ESC and we've already done the 52 amp version which was actually it did very good actually. So we're going to see if its little brother can do just as good or something close to it. So let's go over some of the specs first. Now this is a Beale Heli 32 ESC and it is rated up to 42 amps constant current and the max Peak current is 50 amp up to 10 seconds. So that's pretty good. Uh, does it have any regulators on board? No, it doesn't. Uh, it takes 2 to 5S LiPo. Uh, does have LED. It does have current sensing. And the super crazy part is a 72 megahertz microcontroller unit, which basically makes it one of the fastest ESCs out in the market right now, at least that I know of. So this is this is maybe this plays a big role on these ESCs nowadays. So let's just take a quick look at it. I mean, it's, it's noticeably a tiny, tiny bit smaller than the 52 amp version as you can see here. So if we just put it exactly like that, you can see um, it's a bit smaller. And in width also we have width that's smaller. So we'll take some exact measurements right now. Uh, let's take a look at the backside first. So we do see here five fat capacitors, which is very nice to see. You have your RGB LED. So if you wanted to put it in, you'd put it in like this. So you can see your LED if you're, if you're, if you're into that stuff. Uh, so your LED is right there for you. And uh, this is the 52 amp version, just for reference, if you're curious. Uh, as you can see here, there's only four capacitors and one tantalum on this side. And this one has five fat capacitors. So that's pretty good. And you can see here, the, the MOSFETs here are a lot larger than these guys. So maybe that why this is why this can handle a lot more. Now let's flip it to the other side here. All right, so the 52 amp is removed and let's remove the 42. So the bottom is a 42 amp. So here we can have just one more capacitor. So that's a total of six fat caps here. This one has a lot more. So that's one, two, three, four. And here we have another five, that's nine fat caps here. Um, as you can see, the LED is on this side on the 50 amp, 52 amp version. So let's just move this guy up to the side so we can get kind of lost here. So here we have, like I said, a total of six capacitors, which is very good. They're pretty fat, pretty, pretty, pretty big, actually. A small, tiny little tantalum capacitor should help with some kind of noise issues. And a current sensor, which is good to see. So this is kind of the whole deal. And if you see this strip here, right here, if you actually open this and put some more, uh, put solder on top of this, it'll actually improve the current flow and make this uh, handle current a lot better and actually give better power delivery in theory. And um, yeah. That's what that's what usually that's for right there, and overall, I mean, what else I could say about it? Let's just take quickly. Let's just get its measurements. Stick it on the bench and let's get started. I don't want to have you guys just waiting here while I just talk about really nothing. Let's get to the stuff we all want to know. So its length is thirty three point eight millimeters. Uh, its width is eighteen point five, and its height from the highest point. I'm gonna do this off camera because it's a bit difficult to do it on camera. And it's 6.5 millimeters. So that's pretty good. It's pretty big, it's not that small. Um, it's it's a bit bigger than the average ESCs. For example, here's a 50 amp fly color. This is, hasn't been released yet. And this is gonna be the upcoming video I've been testing this. This was sent to me as a sample uh, by fly color. So this one's actually pretty cool, but uh, we'll come back to this later. So this is a bit bigger than your average ESC, so it's rated up to 50, 42 amps and 50 amp burst. And enough talking, let's get started. Alright guys, so how did this one do? Now in terms of noise and holding its phases, it did basically almost perfect. Um, the the, the vol average voltage spike was 20 volts, the average voltage drop was around 14 volts, which is, uh, it still considers it as um, a very damn good ESC. Now I did get a comment on a previous video where some guy said where he burned one, like like after a couple days now I, I can't say anything to that until you put it on the real world test and right now I just set these up because I am going to put them on an ESC testing quad 
following after it will set these up on it. So I'm going to be testing the 52 amp on the ESC quad, which hopefully I'll take it out tomorrow if the weather, the wind dies down a bit, and we can test this guy. Uh, and so yeah, so real world testing, I really can't say much, but the bench testing seems absolutely beautiful. Um, I really do think these are going to be good. Hopefully they hold out. Uh, I'll even test them on a 5S on the quad and just 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 full throttle it and see if it could handle what will happen with these. So overall, um, it didn't disappoint. I'm impressed. It's a, it's a bit on the expensive side, but you have every single BL Heli 32 features in it, feature in this guy. Telemetry pad is right there, right there, available for you. It is using silicone wires. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than the usual ESC, but it's uh, it's holding very well. It's catching its phases. I don't see any noise, any of that dirty just lines going everywhere. And don't forget, if we increase the PWM frequency, it'll make it even better. So that's just this is just insane, really. Um, so let's just check its weight, and then I guess we should be done here. All right, I uh, grabbed the scale, so let's just stick this guy on there. Oop. All right, so um, with everything, with all the wires, 12 grams. We can just double check it, 11 grams. So it's 11, possibly like 0.8 grams, maybe. Yeah, it's like 11.8 grams. So you could, yeah, choose whatever you want. I've ordered a new scale, don't worry, for the people that are just, like, upset about this scale. So that'll be coming in very soon. Um, for Just for reference, here's a 52-amp version. It's around, well, I have to put all the wires on this guy. So it's around 18 grams, so it's a couple grams heavier. Uh, this is pretty fat, but, you know, for most of us out there, I think this will do just fine, you know, on like, possibly even on, like, a 6-inch build. This is going to be beautiful. Um, I might test this on a 6-inch quad. I need to get a new one, though. And uh, we'll, we'll see how these work. But th these look pretty much insane. And to be honest, they're better than the AirBot Raft plus ESCs um, from these testings. Both of these, actually. And I think they're even cheaper. So, overall, this is a good ESC so far on the bench testing. In real world, you guys are going to have to wait. Just keep following along. And the video should be coming up very soon. Where we, I'm going to try to do these two as quick as possible on the ESC testing quad. And see how well they do. Um, and yeah, well, if anyone's used any of these, please let us know down in the comment section. Um, and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I uh, will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.